شكرا جزيلا استاذ علي اديب لنطيل عليكم تغيير بسيط في اعلاننا سوف لبعض الظروف الطارئه سوف تسبق الفقره الموسيقيه الفقرات الاخرى الاستاذ مايكل ابراهيم مؤسس الاوركسترا العربيه في امريكا الحاصل على شهاده الماجستير من جامعه توين ستيت في الموسيقى الذي يحمل على كتفيه عبء التراث الموسيقى العربي يدور به بين البلدان لن اطيل في شرح السي في الطويل له فمن يعرفه يعرفه ومن لا يعرفه ساقدمه في بيتين من الشعر واقول بورد الحب عبدت الطريقة لتشفي القلب أو تطفي الحريقة أتيت اليوم تمتعنا بلحن وتقسيم فما أحلى الموسيقى إذا ارتفع مستوى حرارة التصفيق يمكن اليوم إذا كفى الوقت أسمعكم بعض الجديد من الشعر بس إذا ورد التصفيق ماك شعر المحاضرة بعنوان يعني تعريف عن التقسيم وعزف منفرد الاستاذ مايك ابراهيم يتفضل بتصفيق اخر احرم من هذا التصفيق. مساء الخير مساء النور اهلا وسهلا بكم ما تواخذوني بدي احكي بالانجليزي ما علي؟ ما اوكي جريت سو اي واز هير كابل مانثس اجو I really spread through this introduction, so I'm going to go a little bit more into detail about taqasim. Anybody know what the word taqasim stands for in Arab music? What's your idea of it? Improvisation. Huh? Improvisation. Improvisation. Okay, that's one aspect. It's an improvisation, but it's an actual art form that stems from tradition. And there's a form. There's a formula in how the improvisation works. And it's based off of a few things. It's based off of a maqam system that is unique to the Arab world. It's also based on traditions that have been taught down throughout the generations. So traditionally, Arab music is an aural tradition. When we say aural, not oral, aural, A-U-R-A-L, which is, means an musama. It's passed down through the, uh, through, um, it's passed down through the generations. Okay, can you hear me now? Is this better? Yeah. Okay, great. I don't, I don't think this is going to work when I play the instrument, but that's okay. All right. So we have a couple of examples of this, and I want to try to explain it a little bit briefly um, so that next time you come to a concert, let's say at the National Arab Orchestra coming up in October, <laughs> that you, you'll know what to listen for. Because the more you know about something, the more you'll understand it, the more you'll be able to understand the history and the heritage that comes behind it. So let's start with maqam. Anybody know anything about maqam? Anything? Huh? You enjoy it. Okay. The word maqam is different from the word to the word. The word maqam is It's a form of music based off of the same principles, but with its own set of traditions that are unique to that area. But this isn't the case. We have a very diverse culture, a very diverse geographical landmass that we call the Middle East, and each area has its own traditions. Music differs from area to area. The music of the Levant, أهل الشام غير عن موسيقى بالعراق غير عن الموسيقى بالأردن غير عن الموسيقى بأفريقيا وحتى هلا شعب المغرب والتونسي والإلغاري ما بيعتبروا حالهم عرب يعني there's a movement to say that we're not Arab because they're just so far removed so we have that diversity for all intents and purposes we're going to talk about تقاسيم as it is, is traditionally played in Egypt and the Levant, which they're closely um, related to each other. They, have the same, they share the same traditions and the principles. So maqam for us is scales, modes, okay? And they're broken up, broken up into sections called ajnats. Most maqamat have two jins, two ajnats. Some, of, some maqamat have, will have three, and they're just broken up into sections, masalan. 
إذا هو قطع الكهرباء إذا قلنا مقام الرأس أو الجنس عدين تاني جنس That's how we break up the maqam. And from there, you have the qarar, the first note, which is the, the, uh, the main tonic, the main sounding note. You have the ghamaz, which is the dominant. And the, from there is where you have your modulations. And then you have the hasas, the second to last note. talk about traditions, each maqam comes with its own set of traditions. For example, maqam ras, if I want to play ras min hon, ma'roof anu bitbalish min hon. Okay, and uh, I start from here and then I build up. We'll get back to that. Tafasim actually has a form. Yes, it is improvised, but there is a formula in how to build a Tafasim properly. Hala, we have rust here, right? Hala, is Amit Ras min hon? Mamin Sami Ras, Sami Yaka. Okay, he is Nafsul Makam, but Hala Darjitay. And Badil Mabalish min Tahir. Balish. على اليكة من فوق وبنزل لتحت Each maqam has its own set of traditions, its own way of doing things, and its own formula on how you build that taqasim. So, one way, for, the best way for me to illustrate when I go and talk about Arab music to non-Arabs, which are the people who don't know about Arabic music, I talk about, I introduce the concept of samai. A samai is a musical form from the Ottoman Empire. Right? So there will be some bleed over in, in heritage. The Turks took a lot from us culturally and we took a lot from them. It was reciprocal. Samai is a form of music that follows a simple format. You have your first verse and then you have the chorus or refrain. Taslim. Kill verse min sammi khana kill Refrain in Salmi Taslim. I'm Tuja, I'm in Salim in Maqam. I will Hana Adatan Beast, but the Maqam Libelli, the Samai, the Samai is composed in. She's going on a beating Kassala, that's where I'm going back and forth in, okay? So the first Hana establishes the Maqam. Second Hana, you have a modulation, Tahwili. Okay, يعني إذا أنا المقام هون عادي. That sounds different, right? So that's a تحويلي. That's a نوع من حول هون. fully realizes it. It's the same thing as at the end of a taqsim when the performer is going and playing and he does stuff like... Okay. 
People play it a lot. I know that the orchestra, we played it a lot. So it goes, the first khana, طبعاً مقام البياتي في جهاز أشماس. Those first four notes are the first jits. That establishes the sound of the maqam. Okay? Okay? 